Hi, I'm Jeff, and uh, I've had a lot of people ask me questions about uh, why I don't have a TV anymore as far as being hooked up to the, uh, to the outside cable or uh, dish network. And uh, basically, I really don't need it. And they were asking me, well, how do you watch stuff? Uh, I said, well, I watch it on my computer, but I can hook it up to my uh, flat screen as well. So uh, they said, well, how do you do that? So I, I'm going to show you how. One sec. First off, on your uh, MacBook, or what I have is a MacBook Air, you have this little display port right here. Okay, that uh, basically takes the screen from the computer and puts it on uh, any other display device you have. It could be a big flat screen TV, could be a regular TV, could be uh, you know another monitor uh, that you would have for your computer. Now, basically, I'll, I'll take you over and show you what I have set up right now. This is my uh, flat screen TV, uh, Panasonic, uh, bought it quite a while ago, but uh, still retains excellent picture. I also have, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, but it's uh, an Onyo or Onkyo, uh, basically, uh, receiver. Uh, you can put HDMI through it, all sorts of, uh, you know, DVD hookups. I still have... Uh, an HD DVD, believe it or not, along with a regular DVD. Haven't gone Blu-ray yet. But basically I have everything channeled through here. And uh, a lot of the cables basically attach to the back of this receiver, but you can do it through your TV as well. But I'll just show you how this works right now. First off, you have uh, this HDMI uh, device, and you can see by the name, it's uh, Moshi, M-O-S-H-I. Uh, it's an HDMI cable, which this is right here. But basically this end, and I have the plastic tip on it now, but I'll show you how it hooks up, goes into that mini display port. And of course your HDMI cable, which is at the other end of it, which is this right here, would go into the back of your TV or into the back of your receiver. Now there's another way to hook it up as well. And I already have it hooked up to the back of the TV is this uh, VGA port. Now you can see it's got the same mini display input or output, I guess, for your computer. But it's got this big ass cable that goes into the, uh, the back of the TV. Now, there's two different ways to do this, you know, with the HDMI and the uh, VGA. Now, the HDMI is going to give you a, uh, a better picture but also it's going to be a uh, finer print on the on the big screen itself which I'll show you as well. Now I also have my power cord here because you know you're going to run low on power one way or the other. And also let me get this cable out here. Dropped in behind. This is your uh, actually goes into the CD input of my uh, of my receiver. And I'll show you where it plugs into the side of the, uh, the MacBook Air, which is right here. That's your output for headphones or for external uh, volume or external audio. So let's take this over and hook this puppy up. Just set this over here. Power cable, hook up the audio, and I'm just going to go with the uh, HDMI cable right now. Plug that into the display port on the side. Now you can do this while the computer's running because basically it will configure itself to the output for the, uh, the other monitor. plug it into the back of the receiver. Now, power this puppy up. Now what I like to use is the Bluetooth remote 
keypad along with the remote mouse. So I'll turn that on right now. Hold down this button. Green light's on, so that's operational. And go to the screen, see what we got. Let's go to receiver. Hit the input button on the keypad. Just hit return, that'll bring up a, a blue screen, and boom, there we go. That's actually my web page, which is up there right now. Give the mouse a couple clicks. Just move around in my other hand. Don't mind the uh, the jittering, and you can see how the how the mouse pad or the mouse is now controlling everything on the screen. Now, in a few of these, and th now this is the HDMI, so the lettering is going to appear, you know, a little smaller. If you go to the VGA, it's going to be quite a bit bigger. But if you hit the uh, the resize button on the window, and this is for uh, the inbox, basically it resizes itself automatically to the screen. Right now, let's see, that's Adobe Reader, which I got open to the MacBook, MacBook Air, and you can see right here where it's got the, I'll just kind of zoom in here where it's a little easier to see. This is just, uh, you know, showing the, the mini display port on the side of the, uh, of the uh, MacBook Air itself. And we can go to another screen. That's going to be our uh, iTunes account. Now I just hit the uh, resize button again. It's going to go to the what I call the mini me display, and then it's going to resize itself somewhat. It's going to be a little bit out. You might have to move it a bit to the right for the uh, for your iTunes window. There we got the music. Now I don't have TV shows or movies in there because I like keeping a lot of space on my MacBook Air, so I have an external drive for that. And there we have uh, the uh, podcast. And just as an example. I'll just go to something that's in uh, high def, which is the uh, weekly highlights from Earth Touch. As you can see, it's a uh, very nice display. Oh, there I am right there holding the camera. Isn't that nice? Anyway, uh, you can see it works extremely well. And again, I have, you know, speakers hooked up on each side you know for the sound plus I also have these uh, two little puppies in the back okay so you get a real good experience uh, just using your computer and going through your uh, going through your big screen display TV you know whatever so it's it's uh, something that works extremely well I hope this uh, helped out everybody and uh, if you have any questions just uh, Hit reply at the bottom and I'll see if I can answer for you. The sheer variety of species of the Thanks.